Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves are on this journey to love. And um, so I'm going to share today a story again about how incredibly connected we all are. And just to say that if you're on this journey, then you just have to know that we can do it and you can do it. And it is all about having faith and trust in yourself. And um, so I'm staying at my friend's house at the moment. This is, um, uh, if you look here, there's an amazing view out of onto London. And I'm staying in the Olympic Park. And this is, I'm staying in the actual flat that the female boxer who won the Olympics um, was staying in. And which is, you know, again, amazing energy to be in this space because, again, it's all about knowing that you've got what it takes to do it. And I'm staying with my friend because my flat's rented out. And, um, and the book that she has is this book about modern women and about pioneers of modern women. The first thing that I turned to was this page saying, we can do it. And it is so important to know that you, you know, that you have got what it takes, no matter what, you've got what it takes. So I said yesterday, if you follow my videos and they all, they're all super connected and they go from one to the next to the next. And I recommended yesterday to watch another lady who has a channel and her name is the Queen of Heaven vlog. So 1111 Queen of Heaven vlog, the description, it's in the description box. And I was going to share how connected we all are helping each other on this journey. Be unbeknownst to us, right? So it's, this is all of our higher selves working together. And the reason why I'm going to share this is to, to know that, you know, to just give an idea about how much there is so much work going on in the background that we don't even know. I mean, there's just like, you know, like the iceberg. We see a tip of the iceberg when there is so much stuff going on and, uh, below the surface. So, <clears throat> basically, um, when uh, the Queen of he Heaven vlog lady contacted me, she wanted to have a letter, which I read out yesterday. Uh, sorry, she, she was asking a question and I actually read out her letter yesterday. So I said, I knew you were going to come to me. And then she... Um, said, oh, I've um, just done a video on YouTube and I've shaved my head. Now, um, when I read that, I knew instantly that that was such a great message because um, recently I've been saying that, you know, whatever happens with your twin, if you have these situations that make you, you know, basically there'll be situations that happen which make you speak your truth. And what happened for me was that over Stonehenge, um, I sent my note, uh, my twin a note to say, I, you know, one of one year I would love to do Stonehenge in the summer solstice with him. And he responded to say, and he said, "Oh, um, I'll have to introduce you to my bald girlfriend." And so I took that as meaning he was going to introduce me to his girlfriend. So, of course, I took that completely the wrong way. But it was very significant that um, it was a bald girlfriend. <laughs> because then afterwards I was... So we had this kind of like back and forth, back and forth, where I had to say, listen, you know, I've made it really clear. I don't want to, you know, I respect your relationship with your girlfriend and um, I don't want to have anything to do with you, you know, with basically with your relationship. And uh, what was so funny is that in the end, he was like, I don't know what you're talking about. And I said, uh, and he said to me, what, what are you talking about? And I was like, well, I said, I'd like to do a summer, uh, summer solstice with you one year. And you responded by saying, um, <laughs> but I'll introduce you to my bald girlfriend. And he said, no, I didn't mean that at all. I meant that she's a friend of mine and she has a shaved head. <laughs> so it was just so brilliant because all the way through, my guidance was saying, obviously this needs to happen because you need to again speak. He needs to hear again from you 
about you speaking your truth because through that I said listen I respect the boundaries with your relationship because I have feelings for you it's not right and therefore I would never you know and so basically of course through that interaction I had to again speak my truth which is why it was so brilliant because um then when Queen of Heaven came to me and said, I've shaved my head, I knew that that was again confirmation to say, it's okay, it's all right, it's all right, because the very last interaction I had with my twin was about a girl with a shaved head. <laughs> so this is why you have to look beyond the surface of things, right? The iceberg, it's the iceberg. You see a tip of what's going on and then your intuition, your guidance, your everything else, it, the connection to all of our higher selves, the connection to the bigger universe is what actually is below the surface. And that's where, you know, that's where actually the reality is. It's not the tip of the iceberg, it's the whole iceberg that counts. So that's just as an example, right? So the other great thing is then another lady came to me and said that she wanted to have a letter because I do channeled letters from the turtles because turtle energy has been very strong. Turtles are ancient, you know, and they have strong Gaia fertility and um, very strong energies supporting this journey. Now, the brilliant thing is, is that last week that very same lady had said to me, would you do a channel letter for me by Lord Vishnu? And so I happened to do that letter yesterday. And then this is completely separate lady, completely different. And then she came back to me yesterday and said, um, the Queen of Heaven vlog lady is also the lady that had done a reading around the Divine Masculine, the Turtles and um, Lord Vishnu. <laughs> so I was like oh well there you go I mean so that's three people so I'm here in London Queen of Heaven vlog is in India and this other lady is in America so and that you see that's how you just have to tap into this incredible source of energy and just trust that it's all working right whatever you're doing is working so I'm actually gonna read the channeled letter that I did, um, which is the lady that asked for a channeled letter from Lord Vishnu. So I am going to read that as today's message. And it, it and so you see, you know, like that's what I say. If I had had that interaction with my twin even last year, then it would have all kicked off because I would have gone crazy. But instead, um, I was just very calm and I just, but I just set the boundary, right? I just said, listen, um, I thought I made myself clear. I don't ever want to meet your girlfriend because that would be crossing a boundary because I have feelings for you. And you know that. And so I don't know why you would want to say that to me. And then through that, then we got to the end when he was like, no, I didn't mean it like that. I meant that um, my friend who has a shaved head and I was like oh right okay so and then he was like oh I'm sorry I didn't mean to say that you know I didn't mean I didn't ex you know I just didn't mean that and so this is what I mean so he then understood on another level where I was coming from and then instead of us having this big fight it was just very you know again just very, very clear about laying out our boundaries um, the other thing is, because the shaved head, you know, the, the, a song, nothing compares to you. And that has been a song that's been coming through really strongly for me. And of course, Shay, Sinead O'Connor has a shaved head in that. So again, just brilliant, 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 brilliant. It really made me chuckle yesterday. Because your twin will get any, any, your twin spirit will get, you know, we really want you to get the messages that are going to help you, right? And that's why all of our higher selves are doing this together to help each other. So, which is why I've picked this, because it's like, we can do this. We absolutely can do this. So the message from Lord Vishnu is this. You carry the light of an enlightened being, an enlightened light force of energy. You have switched on your divinity. 
Now it is your duty to keep the light stoked. When we learn to feed our soul, we feed the very essence of the universe. We feed into the love force of existence. We become more and more connected to the powers that lie within us. Nurturing our souls, becoming more at peace and centered in our oneness is where we find our true equilibrium and we find our most powerful point of manifestation to who we truly are. The pathway is always windy. The road is never straight, but it is always, always beautiful beyond measure. Follow the fuel of your soul, which is love. Okay, so I really just was quite blown away. I love this letter. <clears throat> At the end of it, it was really specific because I had to question what he said because uh, it was follow the f fuel of your soul. And I thought initially it was food and I went back and checked and it was like, no, 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 it's definitely fuel. The best thing is, is when I sent this letter to the lady, she was getting into her car. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just so again just such an amazing way to say because I had to actually question it I was like are you sure you don't mean food it was like no no, no it's fuel <laughs> so and the car is your light body you know the car is another word for your light body and you're taking on more love and light into your body so I'm just going to read it once more because it is a brilliant uh, message and it is you carry the light of an enlightened being, an enlightened light force of energy. You have switched on your divinity. Now it is your duty to keep the light stoked. When we learn to feed our soul, we feed the very essence of the universe. We feed into the love force of existence. We become more and more connected to the powers that lie within us, nurturing our souls, Becoming more at peace and centered in our oneness is where we find our true equilibrium and we find our most powerful point of manifestation to who we truly are. The pathway is always windy. The road is never straight, but it is always, always beautiful beyond measure. Follow the fuel of your soul, which is love. Well, there you go. That's today's message. And so that's also to say just the strength of connection, the strength and power that we have in doing this together, the strength that we have in connecting with all of us and creating this huge web all over the, uh, the planet, which is quite amazing. And just remember, we only ever see the tip of the iceberg with our eyes. It's all of the other stuff that we have to feel our way to understand following our intuition our guidance everything that our eyes don't see that's where the real truth is all right well that's just a beautiful connected 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 crazy connections but that's how the magic works all right i hope that helps take care bye